Hello and welcome to my channel, Rich's Home Mechanics, and thank you for visiting me. Um, we've got an unusual one this week. We've got a saloon chair that uh, has been given to us, a freebie. Uh, my wife picked it up in the van, and it's got an issue. Um, when you pump it, it doesn't go up or down, um, so it's no good for man or beast. Um, the idea is I will try and repair it or repair it for my daughter who's an up-and-coming hairdresser and beautician so if we can repair this it will be a right result um, so basically um, let's get it in the workshop we need to fault find we need to then take it apart we then need to order the parts we need to put it back together and we need to test it so let's do it let's go in there and sort this out Okay, welcome back. Um, we're going to re carry on repairing this um, saloon chair for my daughter Katie. Um, the issue was it was a freebie, and the reason it was free, it didn't work. Um, basically, when you pumped it up like that, it should lift the chair up to the acquired height that you, you know the person you're working on, or cutting the hair, or doing the makeup, or the eyes, whatever, and it weren't having none of it. So we took the thing apart, and trust me, it took a little bit of while to get it apart, but we got it apart. And basically, there's a little shaft in here with a little O-ring. And what you do, you pump it like that. This goes up and down, and I'll show you in a minute on that cylinder. But unfortunately, this little seal, or a cup ring, I believe it's been called, had failed. So what was happening, when you was basically um, pumping the chair up and down, the oil was weeping past this seal straight out the top, as you can see. That's very, very oily there. And hence, it was losing pressure. So when you pumped it up, the chair just went down. So if you put a person in it or a customer, it sunk down, no good to man or beast. So what I did, I scoured the internet. I did the measurements uh, across internal hole and the depth and I actually was very very lucky I managed to locate a new one um, takes a little while but you can get most bits uh, out there on the internet or wherever you buy your seals or whatever parts you're from but it took me a little while so what we're going to do we're going to give this a wipe we want to make sure everything's clean here don't want any grit or any dirt on here and also where it's going to fit we're going to give that a clean out in there now, what is the easiest way to put this in? Let's have a look. I think it'll fit better like that. So we're gonna push it in, like that. Now I need that to go home properly. I need to tap that in. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to use just a socket extension. Just gently tap that seal in, that O-ring in. That needs to go home. Here we go. Not hard, just gently tapping that seal out. Don't want to damage it. If you hit it too hard, you're going to damage the inner, the, the inner diameter seal, and <laughs> and we'll be back to square one. So gently, that looks like that's home. That's looking good. So we can now put this in here. Now I'm going to have a little feel and see how it feels. I'm going to wipe that, I just want to see if oil is getting past it. That's looking good. I'm happy with that. I will just try it on the old seal. See how much sloppier that is? Really, really sloppy. This one's a lot tighter. Put it back in. I think we'll go with that. Right, now we've got to assemble it. This is the harder bit. Now this has to sit on top of here. Now this is not an easy feat to do, because this is very, very heavy. Right, let's have a look at what we've got. Okie doke. That goes on there like that. So, there's a little, see that little tunnel in there? This here has got to sit in there, like so. Ooh, and there's a couple of nuts. That sits on there like that. There you go. Oh, 
that went in quite nicely. Now this is going to be a little fettling because there's some nuts in there. Now I'm not sure if that's gone in first time. Looks promising. Let's have a look. Get it in there. Bit fiddly, not a lot of room. I'm wondering whether that has actually gone straight into the fridge. That would be a right result if that has. The thing is, it's so awkward, it's heavy. You know, I could do, what I did before, when I took this apart, I actually put this in a vise, but because I'm videoing it, I want to do it on a table. And uh, when I, if I go back onto the vise, it's, it's not as good. So I'm making work for myself, but it's a much better way of showing on video how we're repairing this. Now what I'm doing here is just a very, very um, bog standard um, hydraulic system. Same sort of system you get in a trolley jack. They work very similar. You know, I've never done one of these before till I started doing this one. What I'm gonna do, I'll carry on doing this. We'll get this nice and tight and then we'll come back to it. Right, what we're gonna do now, I've now nicked up it's all back together now, the top assembly of the chair. Obviously, we've got to put the seat and the legs on, but this is the main part of the hydraulic system for the saloon chair to pump it up and down. So what we're going to do, we're going to put some jack oil in it now. And the simplest, easiest way to do that, you could just put it in a jug and drip it in, but sometimes that's a bit messy. The simplest way we do it, Richard's Home Mechanics, is we pop that open. We get the mega syringe. We suck the oil up, like so. We put it in the hole, and we pump it in. Here we go. Nice and slow, that's it. What I'll do, I'll carry on with that, and once we fill it up, once it's filled up, once it's filled up, we'll come back. Okay, so what I've done now, I've filled it up with jack oil. I put the screw back in where you top up the oil, so that's nice and tight. Now this is ready to test, so I'm just gonna give it a little wipe. Now if you remember before, um, we picked this up, this salon chair, it was going to the scrap heap. It was a freebie, so I thought, you know what, let's have a go at repairing it. What's the worst, you know, if it doesn't work, you scrap it. Um, so we had a go. We've done what we thought. We took it apart and I do believe that the issue with this chair was the little cup seal, o-ring, whatever you call it, where this little rod pumps up and down here as you can see. I'm sure that was leaking around there, it was definitely leaking. And if you've got a leak there, A, you're going to lose pressure when you try and pump it like a, you know, if you had a, say you had a push bike and you've got a puncher, it's going nowhere. Every time you pump it up, it's going to come out the hole. It's the same as this. It was just the pressure was just not holding. And also the oil was leaking past. So over a period of time, obviously they'd been using this chair in the salon, it leaked and eventually no oil. And once the oil had disappeared, uh, someone sat on the chair, that went right down, kaput. That ain't gonna work no more. So you can only work on dwarfs, <laughs> short people. Um, so we're ready to try it now. This is the first time I put it all back together. Just wipe my hands. I do try and work reasonably tidy. Now it's going to be quite awkward pumping this because this, imagine you could have a person sitting on this, like 14 stone with me, over 14 stone. So there's quite a bit of resistance here. And I'm just sitting it on a couple of blocks. So bear, please bear with me if I struggle to do that. I don't really want to put it in the vise, would be the perfect solution to do because you won't be able to see what I'm doing is clear. So let's see if it actually works. Now when we got this, it was knackered, it wasn't working. We've repaired it. And we believe it was a £1.75 cup ring, O-ring, and a £5 or £4.99 um, bottle of Jackal. So for under seven quid, we could have this repaired. Fingers crossed, let's try it. Now please bear with me, because this is gonna be awkward. Um, I might have to have a bit of rag just to hold that. Now we want this to pump up before it didn't do jack, <laughs> literally jack. Here we go. She's a working. No, oh, that is hardly any resistance there. Look, I'm having to hold this on the bench between two blocks and I'm just holding my hand. Now that's going up. Now look, you're putting the weight on it. 
perfect. That's going to hold weight. So what we're doing now, we're making sure it pumps, which it does. I'm now putting weight on it to make sure it doesn't drop down. That's holding pressure. The way to drop the seat, if I remember rightly, it's very similar to probably my pump up bench, which we're working on now. You push this lever down and that should go down. Here we go. Now, it's quite hard, as you can see, I'm struggling a bit. There we go. Go Whew, don't get any easier. Job done. Right, do you know what we're gonna do? I think we're gonna put this back in the chair and actually try it in the real world. Okay, we've put it all back together. This is the moment of truth. Let's see if this actually works. Nothing wrong with that. I think there's life in the old girl yet. Let's just make sure it goes down. Perfect. Nothing wrong with that. Thank you for watching my channel. We'll catch you on the next series of Richard's Home Mechanics. Don't forget my midweek blog on a Wednesday. Take care, everyone. See you next time. Bye.